The pavements in Pegasus Road have been submerged under water for 20 days now and are slippery with pondweed. This weed has grown especially well on the new paving stones put in place with good intentions last year. Lur has survived the flood from his street corner, split up from the others in the pack that have moved to the SO petrol station, which has also been closed since the flood submerged their forecourt. Pegasame is drying out now. First time we've seen scooters in these parts since it flooded. There's still a lot of water on the left side going away from the city centre, but the right side towards is much drier. Esso's tiger has been chased away by three street dogs well adapted to surviving by themselves. It's still difficult to feed all three dogs equally as two of the dogs don't dare go near the dominant male dog when food's around and let him eat anything we bring. As Quan distracts him with food I sneak off to the back of the garage where one of the dogs stays and we get around it in this way. However, still can't get the white dog to accept food easily being extra wary of humans. The black street dog in the next side of the Esso garage was limping today, didn't look in good health and wouldn't eat. There's a huge backlog of undelivered mail and parcels in flooded areas of Bangkok. Today we saw our first DHL truck make a delivery. Some Mubarn residents are now being ferried by professional boatmen that have brought their clong boats to the area. The market each day shows new signs of activity, although 7-Eleven stock seems entirely made from pot noodles and corn crisps. The more popular snack items normally stocked like Pepsi and potato crisps are still impossible to find anywhere in these parts, being sold out long ago. Mubarn set a kit being lower than Pegasame is still under a lot of water and boats are the way to get around. However, the military trucks can cope with the water too. The military has worked tirelessly to help our community and this, I feel sure, will be well remembered. For the first time, some residents have returned to their shops and opened the shutters. The normally busy garage is still deserted. New boats for Muban City Kit still arrive on lorries each and every day, all equipped with outboard motors. The extra boats will make their lives tolerable, being they need to travel quite a distance to the main road for food and supplies. Bye, Nike. Okay, signing ride. Flood water has dropped from 70 to 40 centimetres in our soil. Our pathway today has a very manageable and daily decreasing amount of water.